Welcome to Star Citizen and to the guide on how to become a salvaging millionaire in the shortest time possible. And here it doesn't matter if you are traveling with a vulture or a reclaimer. Because with the latest update, the salvaging is by far the most profitable method to earn a lot of money quickly. And of course we have already introduced you to the basics of the salvaging mechanic in the dedicated XXL guide. In this guide we start with the legal salvaging missions, which you can find in your mission manager via the general tab. Because with these missions we receive various legal salvage claims, so ships we can then salvage. And here the new salvaging modes of Fracture and Disintegration come into play, which you can activate via the right ALT key and WRS. And of course you can still script the hull of a ship to increase your yield. However, at the moment this is not really worth your time. Because actually it is a lot more effective to first fracture a ship and after this disintegrate it. So we first assemble a ship with the fracturing mode, the right ALT key and W and then switch to the disintegration mode with the click on the right ALT key and S. This way you get a lot of salvaging material very quickly which is automatically bunkered in your filler with the vulture with 13 SCU. That means you can store up to 13 SCU before you have to go into the lower area of the ship and hand out the boxes. But the initial salvage missions are not really worth it, because you usually have very small ships here and only a small yield. Because to get more lucrative salvaging missions in the legal area, it is enough to use two or three of these beginner missions. And subsequently you not only get better and much more lucrative legal missions, but also unlock more interesting illegal missions. And so, in a short time, we have also unlocked the possibility to legally salvage a constellation with a vulture, whereby we salvage more than enough material here to fill our vulture directly. Basically, with salvaging missions you have successfully completed the mission automatically with the end of the fracturing mode, so the break up of the ship. In addition, we also expand the offer of our illegal salvaging missions, which we find under the personal tab. This is where the lucrative C2 and M2 Hercules jobs appear. But more on that in a moment. Because first we take care of our full filler storage. The Vulture can store up to 13 SCU material before the boxes have to be handed out. With the Vulture we have the selection of 1 SCU boxes, in contrast to the Reclaimer, which can produce up to 16 SCU boxes. A complete filler capacity of a Vulture, so 13 SEU, corresponds to almost 80,000 Alpha UEC sales revenue, whereby we can load at least 13 SEU again after unloading. So in a few minutes a good 160,000 Alpha SEU are earned and this is only possible with the Drake Vulture and legal missions. Because as soon as we have emptied our filler station, we can again load at least 13 SEU into the filler. But there's another note. To sell material, it has to be inside the ship. That is, with the Drake Vulture, everything has to be in the cargo hold. So it is not possible, for example, to empty the cargo hold after a landing and put it outside of the ship, because you have no access to your goods at the sales terminal here. In turn, it is unlikely, however, whether the cargo is also fixed on a cargo grid or whether it is just loose in your cargo hold or elsewhere in your ship. Therefore, the mother with the vulture is either to stack well and save space, or to unload once and to sell the first load and then sell again. And of course, it is also possible to produce the second load only after the sale. You can sell the material at all trading stations in the residential areas, as well as on Grimhacks and in various scrapyards here, however, at reduced sales prices. And as mentioned, you get about 13 SCU, that is, once you have filled your Vulture's filler station, and this is about 80,000 Alpha UEC. But we urge you to take a look at the illegal salvage missions, because here, in addition to the sales fee, you can also take a fat mission reward. In addition, these missions are not limited, that is, you can accept an unlimited number of salvaging missions with a considerable payment. And here there are currently two variants, an 80,000 Alpha UEC mission and a 250,000 Alpha UEC mission, where we have to dispose a hammerhead, but more on this later. 
You can find the missions as illegal missions under your personal tab and here under salvage. But beware, these missions are requested and you should have a look in the mission manager because they are gone very quickly. But they also reappear quickly. And in addition to the 80,000 constellation version, there is also a version for a cutlass black. With the missions you have a time limit in which you have to complete the salvaging job and you can do this either via a manual removal of the hull, so scraping the hull step by step, which however takes quite a long time, or you go the way again via fracturing and direct via the disintegration function. And in addition, it can be worthwhile to take a look at the cargo hold because the ships sometimes have very lucrative materials loaded which you can also sell. And another tip, you don't really have to collect the material, it is enough here if you have shredded the ship via the fracturing mode. Then the mission is completed and you receive the reward of 80,000 Alpha UEC and you haven't even sold the material yet, which brings in just as much as with legal missions. On average, you need about 5 minutes for a mission and another 5 minutes for the production of the crates and the sale, so 10 minutes of work. With an earning of almost 160,000 Alpha UEC, depending on how much material you take with you. And especially for the illegal missions another tip. If you use a tractor beam, which you have automatically installed on a module at the Vulture and move the ship, you will receive a crime stat too. But this only occurs if you move the ship. If you fracture and disintegrate it directly, you will not receive a crime stat. But don't worry, even with a crime stat too, you can carry out the mission as usual and also receive the mission reward here. And you can also land in the landing zones with the crime stat too, without any problems. But if you cross this crime stat too and have a crime stat of at least 3, you can no longer land in the landing zones and simply sell. Therefore, it is worthwhile to get rid of this crime stat as soon as possible. So we take a look at how you can basically avoid the crime set or if this happened, get rid of it as quickly and cost effectively as possible. And as mentioned, you only get the crime set for illegal salvaging missions when you move a ship illegally using a tractor beam. Therefore, in any case, leave out your tractor beam, you don't need it either. If this happens, however, you can remove your crime stat from any landing zone or in Grimhex on one of the law enforcement consoles. You can find these consoles with the white screen in their regular landing zones directly in your hangar where you landed, otherwise in Grimhex in the main area. And there, near the stairs. But for a crime stat too, you have to pay 32,000 Alpha UEC, so it's not a small thing. And here is an example of how you can carry out an illegal salvaging mission without a crime stat. Simply dismantle the ship in fracturing mode and then collect it in disintegration mode. So you don't get a crime stat and the mission is also completed. And this increases your profit by 32,000 Alpha UVC. And another note, if you are traveling in a team with a teammate, he must leave the ship when you sell, otherwise you will receive an error message here. But let's go to the second part, the salvaging with the Aegis Reclaimer, the current maximum possible and the salvaging mechanics. Basically, salvaging is also possible solo with the Reclaimer. But this is very cumbersome and we recommend at least two players, one in the cockpit and one who takes care of the cargo. We start with the risky salvaging missions. And of course, these are also illegal variants. And for the risky salvaging missions, we do not receive a mission reward, but mostly lucrative wrecks. In order to be able to use the reclaimer for fracturing and disintegration, we have to use the claw operator seat. This is attached directly next to the pilot seat. Subsequently, we can activate the claw via the M key, which moves forward and basically only have the option to switch between fracture and disintegration with a press of the right mouse button and with the left mouse button the respective procedure starts. And here's another tip. Try to stay about 50 to 55 meters in front of your target, so you have the maximum performance of your salvaging module. A thanks for this tip goes to Mad News. In order to achieve the best possible utilization for the reclaimer, 
the Starlift missions with the M2, C2 or A2 variants are worth it, or the Hammerhead mission, which we will take a look at in detail. In contrast to the Drake Vulture, the Aegis Reclaimer has a buffer storage of 240 SEU. Thus, we can buffer up 240 SEU in the fill-up before we have to hand them out at the export stations. And here we can hand out up to 16 SEU containers, which significantly accelerates the whole thing. And with one Starlifter, we reach a good 200 SEU in cargo, so the optimal size. With the most exciting, but currently also the most in demand mission, is the Aegis Hammerhead mission, which in addition to the collected salvaging material, pays us another 250,000 Alpha USC reward only for the fracturing of the Hammerhead. Therefore, keep an eye out for this mission. The mission appears regularly, but is also accepted again quickly, as many are currently looking for this 250,000 Alpha UEC bonus mission. But there are no special features in the Hammerhead mission either, so we don't have to pay attention to anything special, we can just fracture them and collect them accordingly. Extremely exciting are the possibilities to earn with an Aegis Reclaimer, few missions already offer several millions in profit, and a good two-man team with a stable server makes good 10 to 15 million per hour. So absolute awesome income. I say goodbye until next time.